Great. So you're very welcome to this week's episode of uh, relaxation. So it's our relaxation class with Tom McKenna. And now I'm going to definitely have given away my uh, background. It's going to switch very strange. It's going to be like a sort of Superman where I go from one room to another with, a, with a, in the blink of an eye. That's a bit of a giveaway. Damn it. And uh, so you're very welcome. I'm Jamie Myers, go from Aduco Gym. And uh, I'm just going to introduce Tom. Tom, thank you very much for joining us problem how are you guys how is everybody uh, great to be here and i'm um, delighted to see you guys in well at least virtually uh, imagine out there yeah. somewhere you're out in the stratosphere um so i hope i'm reaching you it's good to so, practice our visualization of the the masses of people that are tuning in for relaxation that's that's exactly right. yeah so that was incredible how i just moved rooms just like that to join you i just uh, so that's just amazing. So we are, it's brilliant to um, do these on a regular basis every Thursday evening. So if you're joining us for the first time, you're very welcome. And we are going to cover the topic of relaxation. The mental aspect of a Duco gym is really what sets us apart from everything else. It's your ability to understand how to use more of your mind, really understanding the value of paying attention when you're training or paying attention to your nutrition, to your supplement program and then really focusing on the outcome. And that's very much uh, ingrained in what we do and has allowed us to achieve these incredible results, uh, both in research, but also with uh, the average person coming in to train with us. And uh, we get these extraordinary results, far from average results. So Tom, thanks once again. So we, we said we were talking earlier on and we said that we would discuss relaxation uh, again just getting people to get an understanding of what is relaxation because people have when you when you talk about relax relaxing and relaxation people have all sorts of ideas and we want to really get them to understand the purpose of this type of relaxation or real relaxation maybe is the best way of saying it so i'll leave it to you thanks jamie yeah no we were as i say we were having a, a little talk about the the idea i suppose um when you're talking to people about relaxation, um, depending on their background, I guess, and depending on um, how stressed they are, uh, and depending on the type of um, work they do, and what type of day-to-day -day activities they're involved in, relaxation means different things to different people, basically. Um, if you're full-on, uh, working 24-7, you don't get two minutes to yourself. Um, relaxation probably means um, falling on the floor in a, in a coma and not having to wake up for a couple of hours and where you feel, okay, relaxation there. I couldn't oh. do another thing. Now or, 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 or even I need to distract myself. Please let me relax. Can I turn off my mind somehow by watching something on TV or distracting myself or having a glass of wine or something, I think. Um... Well, that's, that's the normal, uh, what you've just described there is I think what people normally consider relaxation to be. They, they try to distract their mind from what they normally think into something that they consider to be more pleasant. Yeah. And they find relaxing. And that makes sense to me. I mean, I can understand why um, if your mind is constantly um, turning over thoughts on a continual basis without really any let up and that the thoughts themselves aren't possibly maybe all that uh, exciting or entertaining or maybe they're downright depressing, um, you might want to break from them. So the relaxation... What you, what you have to ask yourself really is, is relaxation a different state from the normal state that the person is in? Mm -hmm. Or is relaxation the normal state and the person is in an abnormal state? So in other words, you, you're kind of looking at um, what? Why will the person actually uh, need to do relaxation? Or why do, would they need to do something to take themselves out of uh, the normal pattern of thought that they are in 
if that's normal for them or if it is um, if it is maybe healthy or conducive to them feeling well, they wouldn't need to take a break from it. But people on a continual basis seem to think that they need a break from the normal pattern of thought that they have in their head. Um, so yeah. therefore you'd have to think about why. Why do they, they, they feel that? Um, so it's almost as if um, they recognize that the thought patterns that they use in their mind on a continual basis or work, um, even in, in their relationships, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, just getting through the day, um, a lot of the time they consider that type of thought um, quite difficult uh, because it seems to stress them. And so as they go through the day and that pattern of thoughts continue to move along, they a person would, would probably say to you, oh, I just wish I could shut my mind off for a while because this is this pattern of thoughts is driving me crazy and I can't shut it down and I just won't let up and so on. Um, and so you're, you're looking then at what's called, what you would call almost an unnatural state mm -hmm. versus maybe a natural state. So we're, we're looking at the whole kind of idea of you know, relaxation allows like a gap in those thoughts for a period of time. Now, during that gap, then you find, as I said to you last week, you find that if you're training and you focus on the muscle to the exclusion of everything else, you create a gap in the thoughts. And what happens to you physically and mentally is that you suddenly feel very well because you focus just on what you're doing. And then yeah. the muscle responds by being able to, it seems to fill with an energy. So you're energized by the ability to focus. And the muscle is filled by that energy and it seems to be able to lift a heavier weight. Yeah. And in a gym context, that means that you produce more growth hormone and you get a better result than somebody who doesn't isn't able to uh, release that energy and don't, aren't able to lift a heavier weight. So the, the, that's the mechanism that we operate the gym through. And a lot of people in the gyms, as I was saying to you last week, find that the, the whole idea of being able to focus just on what you're doing to the exclusion of everything else so that you get the type of result that we get in the gyms is transferable. Yeah. So the, the relaxation that we were doing last week and the week before and the week before is a way of focusing on something to the exclusion of everything else. And in the gym, it's if you're focusing on the training and in yeah. the relaxation, you're focusing on the mechanism of relaxation. You're, you're focusing on letting go of stress that you find within the body and within the mind. And while you are paying attention to the mechanism of relaxation that we take you through, your mind isn't engrossed in the normal pattern of thoughts. And the same thing happens to you as happens to you in the gym, in the relaxation that as soon as you are paying attention to the relaxation and to the exclusion of everything else, in other words, to the exclusion of that normal thought pattern that you have in your head, there, is a, there seems to be a release of energy. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's almost as if the, the normal thought pattern stresses the person to such an extent that it squeezes the life out of them. And we talked about it last week or maybe the week before that the Anglo-Saxon word for um, stress or tension or whatever uh, is, is uh, means to choke. Yeah. And yeah. basically that's, that's what patterns of thought that continue to work through your mind um, that 
to be perfectly honest with you, and I think this is the reason why people find it difficult to, um, uh, they, they, it's difficult for them to actually um, put up with it almost because a lot of the time the thought patterns are repetitive thought patterns that aren't very constructive. Yeah. You don't mind having thought patterns that are creative, that uh, allow you to see things in a different way, that enhance your life in some way. It's like the tools, the, the, the thoughts are like tools, as we often say. Um, so if you, if you like that, you're, you're using the tools effectively, then it's actually quite a joy. And you can have uh, a day-to-day -day experience where you're being very creative and you're getting new ideas in and that enhances your life. But this repetitive thought pattern, um, which has really no value at the end of the day, seems to, over a period of time anyway, uh, create a lot of stress. And the stress tightens everything up in the body and in the mind. And there's no flow of energy or flow of life. And it's, it's shrinking, if you like, the person down. And yeah. that's what people feel. They feel isolated. And th that kind of repetitive thought pattern isolates a person and they get locked into themselves. And yeah. you find then that if that continues, it develops all sorts of, I suppose, uh, if you're a psychologist, uh, it develops all sorts of various versions of psychosis and various problems. Um, so what you're trying to do is to almost show the person that no matter what these repetitive patterns are, and you don't have to bother trying to name them, all you're doing is you're creating a gap in them by focusing on something else mm -hmm. to the exclusion of them and as soon as you do that, then you find that immediately that that uh, you you create a gap in them. It's like the whole body just relaxes completely, and then it fills up with this life force, which has been excluded or being pressed out of the person. It's like it squeezes the life out of you, and that's how people will often describe it. They will often say, "My mind." Uh, is under so much pressure that I feel like my, that my life is being squeezed out of me. And it's a description, and it's very descriptive of what's actually happened. It's being choked or squeezed out of me. So in the relaxation then, the, the mechanism of the relaxation is to return you to your natural state. And believe it or not, then you are starting to realize that under normal circumstances, as the person goes about their day and they've got these repetitive thought patterns, which are like programs for just people running over in a loop in their yeah. head, and um, that that's an unnatural state. And that's why it's stressful. Because you're you're forcing yourself to partake in a loop of thought patterns that are of no value to you and they they are not constructive and they don't produce any positive results so it's an unnatural state so anything that snaps that is beneficial uh, like the training in the gym that's why people will often stagger into the gym at the end of the day's work and say i don't know how i'm going to manage this and you get them into it and then they're running out the door saying wow that was incredible. But often they miss what happened. Yeah. That they just, for that period of time, are distracted by the training. And as soon as they become distracted by the training, that shuts down the loop. Yeah. And the energy rushes in. Okay. It's, it's, it's no longer squeezed out. So it comes in and you start feeling energized. Um, so the relaxation is a version of that where you are purposely pursuing relaxation as distinct from training. But often the end product is very similar, where you get energy. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, relaxation uh, is like charging. It feels like, um, it feels like a physical release of energy, but it's almost more 
a mental release of energy. It's an interesting thing, actually, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I suppose if you think about the way the brain works, it's a very, uh, uh, it's very physical and electrical and chemical mechanism. Yeah. Which is very much on the ability of the brain to produce energy sources so that it can, the synapses will work and they exchange energy. And so as you relax, it, they've done a huge amount of research on all of this biofeedback, so all sorts of things. And they found that it, it was amazing that they were able to see the pattern, the tracking of patterns of thought in the brain. Mm -hmm. They could actually see it, okay? And what they found was that they, when they taught people how to not think that particular pattern of thought, the pattern in the brain faded away. Yeah. After quite a short period of time, that pattern disappeared. That track in the brain disappeared. So I always found that fascinating because when I was involved in the therapy end of things, what you were trying to do was break people's thought pattern and not get them to think them again so that they would think something that was more constructive to them. So often the pattern was very destructive. And so the pathways through the brain were, were maintaining a destructive pattern. Yeah. So you would get to break that and you, you would then suggest uh, an alternative pattern of thoughts which were much more constructive to the person and you use the relaxation techniques then to recharge the body and recharge the mind so that they would have uh, a pattern of energy uh, to run on and then you would talk to them about um, how to maintain uh, mindsets if you like that were more constructive yeah At the end of the day then when they broke that pattern that was often enough to make them very well again, even if the problem they had was physical or mental. Once they could break the path, they, they found themselves in charge or in control of uh, them said their life, which gave them a tremendous sense of well-being and a tremendous sense of confidence. But they also altered then the pattern of their life from that moment on, and they didn't have to revisit and based on that research, I thought it was quite interesting that once they broke the pattern, the pathways died off. So they had no desire to go back to it. Yeah. They just severed it. And after a period of time went by and the, path, the pathways died off, they had no real desire to go back to it again. And so they were able to maintain new pathways, which, was, which were far more constructive and had a tremendously positive effect on their overall health. And I found that fascinating, I have to say. Yeah. Um, and like if, when I was doing the work with these people, when we started doing the, uh, the seminars, I was very, I encouraged them to take it upon themselves to find out more about their own mind. And the people who were, became inspired often attended the seminar as a form of therapy, if you like. Now, I don't mean that they went out. They had done a lot of work. They were in good shape, but they wanted to know more. Yeah. And I thought that was fascinating. And then when they came back, then I was saying to them, well, you're in charge of your own life now. Yeah. Um, you can certainly visit on occasion, but you, you are in a position now to do what you need to do to maintain that state and to be in terrific shape. And they did. And, and that made a massive difference to people's lives, um, you know, yeah. in all aspects of Cause, cause that can kind of happen, can't it? When, um, somebody maybe is having therapy, um, and then they can become very reliant on and dependent on that therapy. Whereas the, doing the Educo seminar, because you start to understand the mechanics of your own mind, the idea, well, actually, what happens is you start to get that independence where you're able to you're more conscious of what's happening in your mind. And therefore, you're more able to uh, change a pattern or 
change your focus or move your attention to something that you know is going to have a much better effect on your mind and you, you get that it's an education that you get over those 10 days right yeah well, well that was it and, and i liked the idea that um that the person would become if you like their own therapist yeah they and and that they their confidence grew to such an extent then that they could take complete charge of their lives yeah, control gave them the freedom then yeah. To have a like now initially often because the person is stressed out by circumstances and they don't know what to do, they need guidance. But at a certain point then, um all you need to do I found was they, you would have a chat with them every now and again just to see where they're on track. But most of the time they would be able to just operate on their own and and uh, have a very successful life, which was to me, and but that's what it was all about, right? I, I never thought, and I don't, still don't think that it's it's necessary um, for for a therapist to make the person dependent. I'm not saying the therapist does it like that, but it just happens. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a, to me that would be a little bit, well, quite a bit unsatisfactory. I, I it doesn't it doesn't free the person out so that they have a life of their own. And, yeah. Um, that would be the end goal from my point of view. So I like the relaxation from that point of view because it's it's a mechanism that it teaches the person to to split that thought pattern, that loop that's in their head, to open it up, if you like, and to have a gap. And so that any time they want to split that or stop a pattern that doesn't suit them, they just can use the relaxation to do that. And after they've done that for a while, as I said, uh, that passion then, the pathway in the brain falls away and yeah. they, they bother going back to it again. It takes a little while, but it's not, it's not a, a phenomenal amount of time, uh, considering maybe the pattern took many, many years to establish to itself. <laughs> yeah. And lots like of that. work. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a standard thing that uh, Tony would mention in a seminar where he he would say that um, you know you you have a pattern and you make sure every single day to feed it a type of material that would maintain it. Not a great plan at the end of the day, no. you know. So you learn. You see, if you don't know it, you're going to just do it in ignorance. Yeah. And I think then problems uh, are because they just don't understand how they work as a person and I, I you couldn't blame them because in fairness um you know not I, yeah no it'd be like saying to me well tom would you mind um running a, a, a class on computers now i'm the wrong guy to do that because i wouldn't i'd have i struggled to turn it on people would be people rigid because be fiddling around so it's not my territory and people often are in charge of themselves. If you like, they have a head, two arms, and two legs, and a body, and they don't know a lot about how that works. Now you could say, well, what? No, but a lot of the stuff that they've done up to that point in their lives had nothing to do with showing them how they work as a person. So it's not that surprising that they're getting into trouble or they're having problems figuring things out or they've got patterns of thought in their mind that they can't shut up and so on because nobody's ever said actually this is how you work for best results so yeah. maybe you apply this and once they start to understand how it works i think people do exceptionally well but you can prevent that person having uh, what i would call maybe a very unsatisfactory life and yeah. i think that's fair to me, it's very worthwhile doing them. When I was involved in the therapy end of things, that was primarily what motivated me to do it, that you could, you could cut across a pattern that was damaging to a person, show them how damaging it was and how easy it was to change the pattern. And that person had a completely different life from then on. Yeah. And I, to me, I would say, wow, it's, it's, I think it's phenomenal to be able to 
step into a situation with a person and show them how to change the direction of their lives positively. I think that, may, that to me would be a phenomenal. It's a, to me, it's a great uh, achievement and it's a great thing to do with your life. Now, a lot of the time people um, went on after they had attended the therapy for a period of time, went on and to be very successful in what they chose to do afterwards. And it gave them a great uh, insight into how they extracted themselves from that situation. And as a result of that, they had great empathy with people who were struggling. And so they would often be able to help them out. And so you extended, if you like I felt, you were extending yourself out through those people mm -hmm. um, to people you would never get to meet at all. Yeah. Um, because th that person had actually achieved so, so much that they were able to pass it on. And that's my, probably my favorite thing oh, about sure. it. Um, you know, and I, 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 if I, you know, if you're ever looking at, say, attending a seminar, now that's 100% Tony's absolute favorite thing that you learn when you're there how to be a complete person. And then you bring much more to the table yourself to your own family and friends and to other people and to colleagues and people you meet uh, in the future, you, you are a much more complete person and you've got much more to offer. And I think that that's, to me, it's totally different. Absolutely, 100%. So w before we get into the relaxation, I thought it might be interesting for people to understand actually what we're trying to do in the relaxation, the mechanics of it. And, and also to say, if somebody's doing this for the first time, and we're talking about breaking that pattern and maybe your mind is at you on a consistent basis or your thoughts are constantly coming in and probably at the moment because you're at home a lot and uh, maybe there's a lot going on it's almost harder to get away from all that sort of thing um in the relaxation just to you will be maybe conscious of the thoughts but then you're what by practicing this and doing it regularly you get that break and that break will become longer and longer I think that's probably so people give it a bit of a chance because sometimes people try and do a relaxation and they can't they can't almost get away from it and they think I'm not I'm not the type of person who can relax and that's not true actually the point is to practice it so that you become the person who can relax that's so important right it's a very good point I mean and in fairness we don't expect you to be an expert at the beginning no otherwise no. you wouldn't need to do this yeah so are you in a learning curve, uh, I've got endless patience for people trying to learn, you know. Um, so don't give yourself a hard time. No, the, the that's the opposite to what not, we want to try and do. No, the, the trick is not to add your attempt at relaxation to, to be the next pattern <laughs> of thought. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid no, that. There's no need. <laughs> Okay, so not, when so the mechanics of what they're of what we're trying to do in the relaxation, what should the person do exactly? Well, really, I, the reason that I do a relaxation every week because you know you could you could say, oh well, I've learned the relaxation now I can do it, and that's exactly what happens. You would get a person to a point where they can just sit down and do the relaxation themselves, and that's perfect. But why I do the relaxation every week is that. I'm distracting you from your normal thought pattern by asking you to bring your attention to different parts of the body. Now you might think, oh, well, my mind has gone, and then I started thinking about something else. That's fine, just bring it back to what I'm saying at that moment. So you just keep bringing your thoughts back to what I'm actually saying. So yeah. learning how to bring your mind back to what you're doing. Now it's, it's very important to, in everything that you do, that you're able to focus on what you're doing at the time. Yes. You know, I mean, what they say about a genius, for example, is that's somebody who can pay attention or focus on what they're doing for five minutes. Yes. I mean, you, you kind of think, what, five minutes? But five minutes total focus is the, is the yardstick by which they actually um, measure a genius. So, so your ability to focus on something to the exclusion of everything else, okay, produces um, a, a, a totally different 
state of mind and a totally different uh, physical state. So it's quite, the changes can be quite dramatic, but the mechanism whereby you get to that point is so simple that I'm just going to guide you through the, through the relaxation and you then just bring your mind to each part of the body and let it relax. And by the time we've gotten to the head, all the stuff that you came into the room with is, is gone and you're now there. And then you notice then that as we move on from there, that there is a noticeable release of energy. In yep. the absence of the thoughts, then there's a noticeable release of energy. And that energy now is, is what I would call the life force that animates your body and your mind, which is your true state, if you like. So you're, you're dropping into a state of relaxation by paying attention to the mechanism of relaxation, which shuts out the thoughts, and that releases an energy. And that energy, as I said to you last week, has a tremendously beneficial effect mentally and physically because that energy has a pattern that is individual to you. That is, is, it's like if you can imagine that that came into, in the world and it therefore wants to uh, have um, expression in this world. So Europe always was to love, which is why the, the wonder is relaxation, your natural state, and all this fre freaking out and uh, pressure and stress is an unnatural state. Um, it's because the relaxation um, releases that energy out into your life. And under normal circumstances in a stressful situation, it can't gain, it can't get out, it can't gain expression. Yeah. So the relaxation frees that out. And that pattern that is specific to you starts imprinting itself on all the cells and all the it, it, it imprints itself on the, the brain and on the, the, uh, the, the transfer of uh, information and the, the electrical impulses that go on in the brain and throughout the body. It, it, it runs that pattern through all of those cells, which brings the whole body back into alignment again, which is perfect. Health. So it has a very dramatic effect with the doorway in is just to, to uh, stay with the instructions initially. And yeah. th what they do is they just uh, separate your attention from the normal pattern of thoughts to something entirely different. So that's why just going through the relaxation step by step by step is so important. And that you just bring your attention back to that each time. If it wanders off, just bring it back again. Don't get out to yourself about it. That's of no value. You just bring yourself back to it again. So anytime that it wanders off, initially it'll wander all over the shop. Don't worry yeah. about it. Just bring yourself back. And little by little, you find yourself able to stay with a full relaxation. And, and you start to experience the value of that. And, and then rapidly then you find that almost as soon as you start to think about the relaxation, you're going into it. And the thoughts just stop straight away. But that's, that's an interesting position to be in because that means that you are now able to control your thoughts. So you don't basically have to, um, you don't have to stay with them if it doesn't suit you. So you've learned a valuable yeah. lesson that they're not in charge, you're in charge. You're in charge, absolutely. Um, well, we, big... with, with that in mind, we better, we better jump into the relaxation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. And, and having covered what we've covered, well, then you begin to realize why it's structured the way it is. Yeah. That's Brilliant. it. Okay. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it over to you now. No problem. OK. okay. <laughs> Great. All right, everybody. Um, so we've we've covered a bit about it there. So you're you're, you're kind of getting the hang of it, hopefully. Um, if you're new, um, you're just trying it out. As I say, don't worry too much if the mind wanders around a little bit. That's not a big deal. Um, but as you go on, you will find yourself getting 
better and better at it. Okay. So if you can stretch out either on the ground or if you can, if you're lying on a bed, that's great. Or if you're sitting in a chair, once you're comfortable um, and you won't be disturbed for a few minutes, that's the main thing really, so that we can just take you through the mechanism and um, see how you'll actually get on. All right. So if you're stretched out now and you're comfortable on the ground or in the bed or in the chair, I want you to, if you're stretched out on the ground or on the bed, let your feet fall off to each side. Your hands are down by your sides. You know, not touching your hands off your body, you're just separating a bit and your palms of your hands are facing upwards. Tuck your chin in a little bit now. So you don't have your head falling back and just tucking your chin in a bit. That's great. Okay, now if you um, if you're sitting on a chair, your feet are already flat on the ground and you put your hands on your lap, the palms of your hands facing upwards and let your back sink into the back of the chair so that you're comfortable. That's great. Now, I'm going to guide you through the relaxation. And it's also, as I've pointed out to you, designed to get you to pay attention to something other than the normal pattern of thoughts that you have. So we're, we're going to take a break from them. You have agreed um, on entering the room to do the relaxation that you're going to take a break from your thoughts and you can pick them up uh, on the way out when we're finished if you want to. All right, so I want you to bring your attention now down to your feet. You're looking at your feet in your mind's eye and you can feel your feet. So you've got different ways of observing your feet. Your eyes are closed. You can feel your feet. You can feel the temperature of your feet. And you'll probably at this stage feel like a tingling sensation in your feet. And you'll also notice whether they are relaxed or tight. So when you bring your attention down there, you pay attention to all of these elements of it and let any tightness or tension that you feel there, just let it go completely. Now, often you'll notice that even though you let your feet fall off to each side, as soon as you let go of any tension you find there, they fall off to each side even more. It's like they just, you're holding them a little bit tight, then you just let them go completely and they'll fall off to each side a little bit more. Very good. Now bring your attention to your calves. Any tightness or tension in your calves, just let it go now completely. That's it. Now it's the same idea, you're, you're paying attention to them and you're, you can feel your calves, you can feel sometimes an energy and sometimes you will feel that they're maybe actually quite tight and you didn't know they were, but when you pay attention to them, you notice that they're tight. So let go of any tightness of tension you feel there. Now we're moving up to your thighs, any tightness of tension you feel in your thighs, just let it go completely. That's it, you just let it go. Now it's, it's, it's quite noticeable to you if there is tension there and you let it go because the whole, your legs in that area feel completely different to you once you let that tension go. Now, remind yourself as well that this period of time that you're spending in relaxation is of immense benefit to you. To be honest with you, it's probably of more benefit to you than anything you were involved in during the day up till now. It can have such a constructive effect for you and on you. So it's worth your while paying attention to it and, and not letting your mind wander. So if it wanders, just bring it back gently now. Just bring it back to what I'm actually saying to you. All right, bring your attention now down to your hips. Letting go of any tightness or tension you feel in the hips, just let it go completely. Just let it go now. That's really good. Letting it go completely now. That's really good. Now, 
each time that we bring our attention to the area and you let go of any tightness or tension there, there's an immediate increase in the flow of blood into that area. And any nutrients that were starved out of that uh, because of the tension are flooding in now. And that, that, that starts the mechanism of healing and relax and um, repair within the body. That starts it off fairly, very early on. Bring your attention now to the base of your spine. Any tightness of tension you feel there, just let it go. Now we're moving our attention up along the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, and you're letting go of any tightness of tension that you feel there. Letting it go right up along the spine to the back of your neck. Now, as you're letting go of any tightness or tension along the spine, your back is just sinking down into the ground, feels like it's sinking down into the ground or into the bed or into the back of the chair. Let go of any tightness or tension now on the back of your neck. Just let it go completely. Any tightness or tension along the back of your head and the top of your head, just let it go now completely. Now letting go of any tightness or tension in the forehead. And the forehead's just getting smoother and smoother now. Smoother and smoother, that's really good. Smoother and smoother now, that's really good. Now. Bring your attention to your eyes. Now you're just letting your eyes close gently now. You're not closing them tightly, you're just letting them close gently. Bring your attention down to your mouth. Let go of any tightness or tension you feel in your mouth. Let it go now completely. That's, that's really good now. Bring your attention to your neck. You're letting go of any tightness or tension in the neck. Just let it go now completely. Letting it go. And again, as soon as you let that tension go, that area then uh, is able to take in all that blood, carrying all that nutrient into the area now, repairing all the tissue in that area straight away. Let go of any tightness or tension now across your shoulders. Again, an area that you will tend to hold quite tightly. So just let go of any tightness or tension you feel there. All the way down along your arms, let go of any tightness or tension there and down into your, the palms of your hands. You'll notice actually once you've relaxed your arms down into your hands that you will feel an energy in your hands at this stage. That's very good. Because as you move to an even deeper level of relaxation, you're freeing out that energy within the body. Because it's freeing it out. It's freeing out now. That's really good. Bring your attention now across the, the chest. Let go of any tightness of tension in the chest. Now just let it go completely. And we're bringing our attention now down to your stomach. Again, an area that if you're tense a lot, you will find that you tighten up in the stomach. So you're just paying attention to that area and let go of any tightness or tension that you feel there. And just let it go now completely. Let it go now. That's really good. That's excellent. So the whole body now is moving to an even deeper level of relaxation. Circulation is moving through the body now, freely and easily carrying all the nutrients now that your body needs. It's feeding all the tissue that needs this vital nutrient that may not have been reaching it adequately up to now, and it's just moving through the body, flooding all of the organs and tissues with blood that is carrying all the uh, nutrients that it actually needs and carrying away all waste that is needed and gathered in that area to be dealt with and excreted from the body now. So we're just dropping deeper and deeper now into relaxation. 
circulation moving through the body very smoothly and easily now. And you notice then, because you're moving to an even deeper level of relaxation, that it's like you're energized that the like the energy is like a release of energy you can feel it in your hands you can feel it in your feet and you can feel it on the top of your head it's like like a ball of energy just on the top of your head and as you're observing it and watching it now it just sweeps down through the body down through every single cell now moving through all the cells and as it hits each cell and it passes through the cell, that pattern of perfection that is that energy within you is transmitted and imprinted on the cells. There's millions and millions of cells now. And as that energy passes through them, it imprints that perfection on the cells. So it's almost like that in that state of pure relaxation, your energy is freed out and can flow freely through the whole body, through every single cell. And as it moves through the cells, now it perfects those cells. And you're moving to an even deeper level of relaxation now. Deeper and deeper now into relaxation. That's marvelous now. And you bring your attention now to the top of your head. This time, you find that that energy is very strong up there now. And as you're looking at it now, it just sweeps down through the body. You can feel it sweeping down right through the body, out to the soles of your feet, out to the palms of your hands. And it moves through you at a much stronger rate now. And it's in your mind's eye, you can see it like, like a light passing through all the cells, like liquid gold moving right through all the cells. And that pattern of light that perfection is imprinting itself upon all the cells, but it's sweeping out from you to everyone belonging to you. And it just hits off them and moves through them and out to everyone belonging to them. And it just moves out in a huge wave of light, like liquid gold passing over the whole globe of the world. Now brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's fantastic. That's really, really amazing, yeah. So every time you do the relaxation, you have this tremendous release of energy into your physical body and into your mind. But not only that, because that's the pattern of life and the pattern of your life, that it moves through you and then out from you to everybody that you know. And that's the natural pattern of this life inside. And so as you move to an even deeper level of relaxation, more and more of that energy is available. So we're bringing our attention back up to the top of the head. This time, that energy is incredibly powerful, very strong, sweeping right down through the body. You can feel it pouring through the body, every single cell just lighting up brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, passing down along the arms, out into the hands, passing out from the hands, out right through the body and out to the soles of your feet now around, moving out from you, out to everyone belonging to you. And in your mind's eye, you can see it moving through them and they light up. They're brighter and brighter and brighter now and it passes from them to everyone belonging to them. And it just goes out in a huge wave. You can see the wave in your mind's eye, like a wave of light passing over everybody and through everybody in the whole world, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. In your mind's eye, you can see the whole world gets, gets brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's incredible. That's really, really amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. So every time you do the relaxation, the, the, it starts with you and that energy passes through you and out to everyone belonging to you. So everybody gains from every relaxation session that you do. Naturally, it starts with you, so you get the biggest hit, if you like, but it does pass from you out to everyone belonging to you and everyone belonging to them, and it just keeps on going. And it's an endless supply, so the energy just keeps passing through you and out to everybody and out to them, and it goes on out and stronger and stronger and stronger now. So the relaxation 
is allowing you express that energy inside that is normally not able to gain expression. So you're freeing it up and you're allowing it to pass through the mind and through the body. And then it passes out from you to everyone belonging to you. So each relaxation session is incredibly beneficial to you and to everyone belonging to you. So you're now moving to an even deeper level of relaxation now, even deeper than before. And that energy now just moving through the body now. You can see it and you can feel it moving right through every single cell, out through all the organs of the body, down through the nervous system, through the digestive system, moving right through the whole body, repairing all tissue needing repair now. Bringing the body and bringing the mind back into perfect harmony, perfect balance, perfect health. That's fantastic. And as you move to an even deeper level, you are allowing your own life force now to take care of every, all of these things on your behalf. So the deeper you move into the relaxation, the more is actually happening for you and for everyone associated with you. Because you can't do the relaxation and have that benefit and it just stops with you. That isn't how it actually works. It continues on from you out to everyone belonging to you and takes care of everyone on your behalf. That's fantastic. So we're just letting ourselves relax now even more and just staying with that now for a few minutes, just staying with that relaxation, staying with that sense of well-being, that sense of well-being in the mind and in the body. In your mind's eye, you can see and feel that energy is filling the whole body now with light. Every single cell lighting up now, brighter and brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter and brighter. That's fantastic. That's really, really good. Now, when I count from, as I count from three to one, now you'll find yourself moving gently and easily back up to the surface, feeling really, really well. But you're taking with you this experience, which will stay with you now throughout the day until you practice the relaxation again. And each time you practice the relaxation, you'll go to an even deeper level expressing more and more of your own life force, allowing more and more of that life force out into your life and out into the world itself. Easy moving back up to the sun, very relaxed and very well. Two, gently now and easily moving right back up to the surface feeling very, very relaxed and very, very well. That's brilliant. Moving right back up to the surface now. And as we reach one, the eyes just opening, but you feel completely renewed and very, very relaxed, but very, eyes just opening and feeling very relaxed and very, Oh, fantastic. There you go. That was very, that was very relaxing. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I think, you know, when we were at least covering kind of the mechanism, I think people can sometimes, if they understand it more, partake in it more. Yeah. They can pay because they understand what we're trying to do or what yeah. they're even trying to do. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. They, 
it's much easier when you're when, yeah, exactly the, the instructions or the mechanism so that you, you know what you're supposed to be focusing on when you're in it. Um, mm. But yeah, you really yeah. do. And, and the more you practice it, the more you get the, the feel of the energy. It's it's so worth practicing because it really does develop, doesn't it? Yeah, to, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you, you do have to give it time. Yeah. Don't worry if you're not getting it at the beginning. That's just normal. I mean, you can't expect to just walk in and immediately just go into it. Now, some people, in fairness, do, but most yeah. people practice it, and so that's normal. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was that was the best one yet. I think that was uh, well. I enjoyed it. Yeah, great. Well, that was, that's great. Brilliant. So, so next week we'll have to maybe if we get a chance. Uh, well, obviously, if anybody wants us to cover anything in particular, but um, we might might be able to look at more what your true nature is, because we did mention it. And um, when you were talking about it there to, before we just went into relaxation, it probably broke up a little bit the sound uh, where, where you talked about, uh, you know, how you come into the world and and then maybe what happens as a result of uh, your education and all that kind of um, that all those kind of uh, different, I suppose, things that happen to us as we as we grow older. So it might be uh, something that people would like to explore, but maybe a bit further. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I will, I probably am going to kind of say that naturally, if if that's the type of territory that you want to do, for me, I would think that to do, maybe, to do with, yeah, to do it any justice, I, I would only be skimming off the surface of it, yeah. just with a view to allowing you to do a, a, a decent relaxation so that it would be of benefit to you. But to go any further with that part of it, you need to spend a bit of time looking at it. Definitely. And so That's absolutely it true. Be, it would do you a bit of an injustice if we were trying to fly through it, and that wouldn't be fair. And I wouldn't, I, I would think that on the seminar, Tony spends quite a bit of time bringing you through each stage so that you understand it to such a degree that you can operate differently when you leave. Um, yeah. And so I, I, I just, I think that he, it, you just need to be there for a period of time to get that right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's more, more getting people to be conscious that there is such a thing. Um, no, that, to to, that, to get their interest in it, which is so important. No, no, absolutely, and you know anything that I'm covering, I, I am referring back to um, how valuable it would be if you wanted to take it further. Yeah, hundred so percent. It, it, you could take these things further. Any one subject, we could go at it for weeks on end because there's so much to it. Yeah, but that would. That, that would be probably unfair if you wanted to really do it justice. You would need to be on site and you'd need to be pursuing it for a period of time. That would, that would, um, that would allow you to have a total understanding that would allow you to operate that then when you fit. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and if there's obviously, if there's any, anybody uh, has any questions or would like us to cover anything on the next, over the next couple of weeks, please do let yeah. us know you can and uh, we will endeavor to, to cover it. So thank you very much Absolutely. everybody for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. And Tom, thanks again for taking an hour out of your evening to, to bring us through that. It was brilliant, really enjoyed it. And uh, it's purely selfish really that I get you to do these classes. <laughs> so no. thank you very much. Great, so thanks thanks everybody. For those of you watching it later, we hope you enjoy it. And, and for those of you watching at the moment, we really do encourage you to practice it. It'd be brilliant to do this on a regular basis. You can obviously uh, play the video at any time. It'll be on our Facebook feed, it stays there. And uh, we, we uh, think that you'll get so much benefit from it. So uh, everybody's thanking you, Tom. You're getting lots of good comments. Okay, great. Thanks everybody. And we will see you again next week. Take care. See you, bye. Yeah, man. Bye-bye.